One of the things that uh, is true is that, yes, yeah, some of the questions are eternal in the sense that some of the same issues get dealt with over and over again. And so, yeah, there's, you know, a debt crisis now, a debt crisis back in the 1790s, uh, and then a debt crisis back during the American Revolution. They're all part of the same thing uh, or same uh, structure. But I think one of the things that has changed over time that the newspapers of the 18th century can help you understand is that when people read about that, they really couldn't necessarily do something right away because it w they were in Charleston and it was in Boston. So they sometimes spend a little more time thinking about what to do than happens today because of the immediacy that we have today. We can react much, much faster. And so I think there, that was one of the benefits for them is that for them they were reacting quickly, but by our standards today they weren't. But that meant that they probably did spend a little more time thinking about, okay, what do we need to do? How do we need to act? Uh, and that may have made for better decisions and better actions.